Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our YouTube channel where we discuss all the electric vehicle related news, information and events that are happening in India. So before I proceed and discuss today's important news and announcements, guys, do hit the subscribe button and so that you can always stay updated with whatever is happening in Indian electric vehicle ecosystem. So let us proceed with today's big news. And today's big news is Mahindra EKUV launch in january 2021 so mahindra has announced it that they will be launching mahindra ekuv 100 in january 2021 the price of the vehicle if you include the subsidy will be around 8.25 lakh and net net this will make it the cheapest electric car in india available if you discount the mahindra a2o right now the cheapest car you would get is tata tiger ev but if this car comes at this particular price uh, this will become the cheapest electric car but definitely this uh, is inclusive of subsidy which means the customer may have to pay more and then subsidy will come in form of cash back to the customer so that is the point guys and if i tell you about the technical specifications the range of this car is 147 kilometers and uh, it has a 54 horsepower engine and 120 newton meter torque so that is uh, about ekuv it is like a little sister little electric sister of kuv 100 mandra also launched its three-wheeler trio zor uh, sometime back which was a 2.7 lakh so which shows that you know uh, the interest Indian manufacturers are showing in electric vehicles, both Mahindra and Tata, they're launching model after model on of electric vehicles, electric two wheelers and electric three wheelers. So definitely it's a good news guys, because now the customers will have more options across segments and they can as all somebody who's gonna buy a car of seven to eight legs can also think about buying an electric car uh, because right now electric cars were in the higher end range. Either we have luxury cars, which are like Mercedes Benz EQ and uh, uh, Jaguar I-Pace or uh, Audi e-tron or similar cars or we have another segment which is like 15 uh, around 20 lakhs that is uh, mg zs ev and then you have hyundai kona ev but now we have a segment which is like 8 to 9 lakh segment which will definitely improve uh, the choices of the customer and provide more choices of the customer and somebody who really wants to buy electric somebody who wants to contribute to the environment can actually buy the electric car at a competitive rate so that is uh, about ekuv 100 in case you want to check about the specifications go online and check it so let's wait for the launch of ekuv 100 guys and moving on to the next news guys and that is uh, the next car that is Tata Altros EV. So, guys, uh, Tata Altros EV is uh, how did I come to know about this car? Is that there is a is an interview of uh, of Tata executive on uh, you know uh, on carandbike.com and what uh, he is saying is that Mr. Shailesh Chandra, president of uh, uh, you know passenger vehicle business unit uh, Tata Motors, what he is saying is that in corona the passenger business has actually gone up because now in corona people are preferring to travel alone by their own vehicles by their own cars rather than going through a shared uh, you know shared commercial vehicle or shared cab so that has led to actually jump in passenger cars not only it has led to jump in passenger cars it has also led to a jump in electric cars because now the customer is also becoming more environment conscious so uh, that's a good news both for the auto sector and especially electric sector that you know it the sector is picking up sector is optimistic and this is one sector which remains partially unhindered by corona most of the business are going out of business but electric vehicles and obviously the the overall car sales also is now picking up and as festive season is coming you can expect record numbers guys and moving on to the 
uh, about if i tell you about the specification of this car guys uh, i mean there is not much uh, available about the specification of tata eltros but uh, so now tata will have uh, around three cars in its kitty there is tata nexon there is tata tiger and now we have tata eltros and this car uh, you know will also be available in subscription model and uh, then tata has developed two new platform alpha and omega these are like power trains so uh, you know uh, uh, you know they can accommodate electric power train on these platforms and they can manufacture electric cars so also tata power now so the advantage which tata has is that tata power is also installing charging stations so tata motors is making electric vehicles tata powers is tata power is installing charging station if you remember in yesterday's video i had mentioned that tata power and mg hector uh, together launched a dc fast charge in nagpur so tata power is developing charging station tata motors is developing electric vehicles it brings in a lot of synergies and a lot of contribution to the ev ecosystem and i believe that is the way you proceed in electric vehicle guys in electric vehicle ecosystem everybody has to come forward and contribute it has to be a collaborative effort there will be no single winner nobody can just you know change things by themselves everybody has to come collaborate and definitely compete so that's about tata eltros and overall market for cars and evs so let's uh, uh there is no specific date when this tata eltros will be launched but it is expected to be launched in first half of next year so let's just wait for it guys moving on to the next news guys and it is about uh it is about registration of 3000 daily uh electric vehicles in delhi guys if you remember that delhi has been has launched its electric vehicle policy and and delhi government and delhi executives are relentlessly pursuing the mission to make this vision of you know 25 percent vehicle registration by 2024 to be electric and they are relentlessly pursuing it they are looking for land to install charging stations and different places and also they have provided subsidies 30,000 subsidies to two wheelers 30,000 subsidies to three wheelers and 1.5 lakh subsidy to four wheelers and up till now already 3000 evs have been registered so that's a good news guys and also to let you know that there is a limit like uh, up to 30000 charging station uh, 30000 vehicle 30000 cars the daily government will provide subsidy so only the first 30000 registrations in car segment or similarly in bike segment will get the subsidy so uh, there is a limit there is a cap to it in case you are thinking of buying electric vehicle in delhi this is the time get it uh, buy it get it registered and get your subsidy which will for which will come into your account in the form of cashback after we are done registration with the transportation department so uh, definitely it's a good news guys it, it will also improve the air quality of delhi uh, because obviously of lower emissions so that's a good news good news really good news daily might be merging as the ev capital of india now moving on to the next news guys that is uh, there is a tender it's a tender news guys about electric buses and electric bus charging station in up and this will be developed the project will be developed in prayagraj ghaziabad korakpur and kanpur so this is a uh, a uh, bid to invite uh, you know to set up charging station for 2225 electric buses in uttar pradesh and guys uh, this tender is floated by uttar pradesh jal nigam in case you are interested go visit uttar pradesh jal nigam and it is for charging station for 225 electric buses there are some specification there are some basic minimum criteria which the bidder uh, will have to meet in uh, to bid for the tender for example uh, you know in last 10 years he or she uh, should have done similar work and then the annual turnover uh, for last three years the average turn turnover should be you know 30 percent of the work cost what is the work cost so total cost was estimated to be 40 million which is 4 crore rupees that's one of the tender that is for 50 electric buses in ghaziabad then there is another tender which is for 25 electric buses in uh, gorapur that is for 46 million rupees which is around 4.6 crores and then you also have to submit a bank uh, you know uh, earnest money deposit in this case which will be around eight to nine lakhs so you need to meet these criteria 
to apply for this tender so guys last date is uh, november 2 for the gorakhpur and uh, tender and it is november 13 uh, uh, you know for the uh, gazibar tender so just go ahead and uh, in case you're interested we'll check it out at up gel uh, gel board website and so again it's a good news that that Uttar Pradesh government, which also launched its electric vehicle policy in 2019, is also thinking about uh, going electric. Guys, it's a good news. So, and especially electric buses, because definitely uh, buses have huge emissions, and and uh, uh, buses require you know huge charging station. You can't just charge a bus anywhere. So, installing charging station for buses is a big project. So, but it's good that you know the government, state governments are taking this initiative ops guys so that is about today guys this all news i have for today uh do like the video in case uh you have any questions mention it in the comment section and do subscribe to this channel in case you want to stay updated about whatever is happening in electric vehicle uh, ecosystem i come here regularly and make videos after videos and uh you know just to share whatever is happening in this ev revolution so that you and i all can be part of this ev revolution story so guys just hit the subscribe button see you in the next video till then goodbye